Hello there and welcome to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I wanted to show you quite an easy thing. I guess you know how to do that, but if not, well, you're welcome. For, for example, there are regular bullets and then you just give it a speed in a direction and they fly in the direction which is to the right, which is zero. But for example, maybe you want to do something like a boomerang which you've seen in Castlevania or some other games where that thing goes to a specific point and then, well, it flies back and this is what I'm going to show you here in Game Maker Studio. So I'm going to completely uh, skip my intro. This is one up Indie. Hello. Subscribe if you're not and share if you can. Of course comments and thumbs ups are always great because this is showing YouTube. This stuff is at some point maybe relevant. So let's get right into the good stuff because there's not too much um, in my opinion but hey maybe you didn't think about this and or you're just a beginner and you're just wondering how that works. So basically what I'm having is just like one player here and then he presses a button. So I'm having a script at the very beginning and then it's just checking and well keyboard check release and this is how you do inputs and then it's storing that thing into a variable and that variable will be just one or zero or true or false. It doesn't really matter because this is in the end just a number just the same. And then I'm just checking like, hey, have you actually pressed the second button? And if it's true, this will just be like instantly one. And then well, the code here is being executed. And normally what you do, you just, um, if you, for example, create the most basic um, projectile, you just uh, well, create instance. So you create kind of a new object in quotation marks, because this is in the end an instance, call it whatever you like. So it's over here. And then you can store it into a variable and then you actually give it some properties, which is direction, so where to fly to and how fast to fly to. And this is just basically it. Then maybe you want to fine tune it a little bit and then, well, you can change the image X scale. So for example, um, you read it out. For example, this is image X scale of one. But for example, if you go to the left and then you basically flip this guy to the left side, so it looks correctly. And you have an image XL of minus one. And therefore, with this uh, thing, you give a specific direction. Let's say if you go to the right, image XL one, and 180 degrees, then to the left. And this is just basically it. And here we go into the object which we actually create. And there are not too many things. First of all, well, what could I show the first? Let's make it just spin. And this we take out. So basically what I'm just doing here, I'm just saying, hey, I want it to spin around so it looks cool. Of course, maybe you don't want that. So you can just kick it out. Spin just means, hey, this is just a variable, let's say, and you give it a value of 10. And then you add it to your image angle, which is all the time then rotating. And depending if you put minus values or plus values, uh, then it will spin the other way around. And this is what it does. As you can see, now it is flying in one direction because I just gave it speed and direction. This is just basically it. So how can we do the boomerang effect? Well, we have a variable once again, I call it decrease or you can call it whatever you like. And then, well, we minus it to the speed. And what it's doing, because I set the speed of three, it will minus to the extra, so this will be like speed minus the decrease and then the value becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and at some point it will become negative and then it will go, well, what you see in, for example, if you go to the right with a speed of three, then it will go into the other direction. So this is just the whole magic, nothing basically going on. And then of course, maybe you don't want to fly it forever. Then you say alarm zero give it a value of 300 steps. So basically divided by uh, 60, this is six seconds. Oh, I really had to think about that, Jesus. Um, and then you just destroy it so it's not flying forever. So once again, we start the game and then we're pretty much finished because, well, there was the whole magic. So what you see here, it has a plus value of three and then it decreases, decreases, and now it will go to minus values. Of course, at some point you maybe want to destroy it because that thing is getting faster and faster and faster. Therefore, maybe destroy it at some point or at a contact with the player. So 
this is first of all not flying for infinity and second of all well um it won't be having like some hyper speed at some point so that was pretty much it for today hopefully that was of interest to you and have a good uh night this was this was one up 